Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nafisa. I am a Muslim life coach and I support Muslim women with relationship and mental health issues. So if you're interested in being coached in those areas, you can find me over on my website, which I will leave linked in the description box down below. But over here on YouTube, I make Islamic lifestyle as well as Dawa content. So if you're interested in that, then definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button down below now way before youtube i'm actually a teacher so if you're interested in online tuition um, for children between the ages of 8 and 18 there is more info in my um on my website as well now in today's video we're talking about why it's a bad idea for a woman to pursue a man yes sis don't do it here are some of the things you need to consider before you even think about trying to pursue a man so let's get straight into today's video also, before we begin, I want us to be clear about what I mean by chasing a man. Chasing a man is basically when you are doing most or all of the effort to get him or to maintain him or to keep him interested in you. If you are the one making most of the effort whilst you're getting to know this guy or because you want to get to know this guy or you're in that relationship and you want to keep the relationship and you're the one making most of the effort then most likely what you are doing is chasing naturally it is in a man's role to pursue and it is in a woman's role to select i repeat that naturally it is within a man's role to pursue and it is within a woman's role to select it's all about you know this new idea that's been going around about resting in your feminine and all of that yes a woman she's meant to be the one that sits back the options come and she chooses now if she sees that there is someone that she's interested in there is a dignified way to go about it and i will make a separate video of that example to show you guys how it can be done with dignity but when it's not done with dignity in the way that some people are doing it these days, it can lead to, number one, you being humiliated. How? Because, sisters, when you go for this guy and you are chasing him, you're doing all the calls, you are going to his house, cooking food for him, you're giving all these wifey duties and the guy doesn't even know who you are, um, you're desperately trying to be in environments where he is. You're always trying to start off conversation with him. You're always the one to maintain conversation. He will know that you are chasing him. And most immature men will go back to their friends and say, yeah, you know that girl? Yeah, she's been chasing me for quite a while now. And I'm not even that interested in her. And that is disgraceful for you because for every single person that that man tells that you're chasing, it lowers your value in that other person's eyes. So if there are other men who are hearing that you're chasing after this guy, it's like, mm -mm, she can't be that high value. She can't be some a woman that is highly sought after because if she was, she wouldn't have to feel like she needs to go and hunt men down. So it's not in your best interest to chase men. You should show interest. If you're interested in the man, you should give him signs that you're interested in him, but it shouldn't be you pursuing and you chasing him down most healthy well balanced masculine healthily masculine men don't want to be chased down by any woman they want to do the pursuing and they want to know that they got what they wanted it is again in a man's nature to actually want to hunt go out they want to hunt for something and they want to achieve it it gives them a sense of achievement and a sense of you know, achieving a goal, that they set a goal, they set a target and they were able to achieve it. That is, that is very natural, um, an innate thing within a man. When you flip that and you're trying to do that as the woman, it sometimes just gives off a bad vibe and a negative energy, especially if he's not that interested in you. Now, some of you would be like, but what if he's a shy guy and, you know, I had to make the first move? Yes, there are certain occasions where women have made the first move because the guy was very shy and it's worked out well for them. But for the most part, I will say that, listen, I don't care if he's shy or not. If he is too shy to make the first move, you leave him be where he is because he's going to have to learn that he's going to have to come out of his shyness in order to get a woman. I know some men who are very, very shy, but when it comes to the woman that they really want, they develop the courage to go for it, right? The woman just has to be a little bit more encouraging, but she definitely doesn't have to chase in order for him to actually make the move. So please, sisters, never chase a guy. One of the reasons why is because you will just end up 
you could end up humiliating yourself. The next reason why it's a bad idea to chase a guy is that you may end up disregarding your morals in order to keep him. And I wanted to make this point quite early, especially because of the audience that I serve. You guys are Muslim women. You guys are women of dignity and women of high morals. And in order to keep a man, sometimes I know that sisters feel the pressure is like, I have to keep everything halal, but if I keep everything halal, there's a chance that I might lose him. And so because you fear losing him, sometimes out of, again, desperation, you might end up, you know, bringing down some of your morals, the things you said you would never do. Oh, I would never hug him. We would never be alone. Oh, I would never do X, Y, and Z before you know it. You're drawing yourself into zina. Why? Because you're feeling like, well, unless I do this thing, I can't really keep this guy right and so the chase continues where you're feeling like you have to do certain things just to keep him now if the guy really wanted you and he was wanting to pursue you for the sake of marriage and you say to him look i am one of the women that i don't give up certain things in order to keep a man so let's get this clear first and foremost we're going to keep everything halal and you're not going to touch me unless we get married when you put those things into place, he already knows the type of woman that you are. And if he is that type of man and he's actually about marriage and not just about hitting it and quitting it, and he's actually about marriage, then he will continue to pursue you because you are, you are a woman that he's actually interested in getting into a marriage with and not just something for the short term. But when you become desperate, you're not even thinking about that anymore. You forget the whole point of you guys actually getting into this talking phase in the first place and before you know it you end up doing certain things again just to keep him because you're busy trying to chase don't do the chasing keep your morals intact if he wants you he will be happy to have you as the woman that you are please do not compromise your dean in order to please this man because at the end of the day if you're not the type of woman that he's looking for he's still going to leave he's still going to end up saying i'm sorry this is not going to work out. And by that point, you're like, oh my gosh, I invested so much into this relationship. I gave up X, Y, and Z that I said I would never do just because I was trying to keep him. And again, if he's not interested, he's not interested. So please, sisters, maintain your moral standards when it comes to talking to a guy and going through the talking phases, it will benefit you at the end. I always talk about this, sisters, about you guys maintaining your haya, maintaining yourself, your, your sense of dignity and maintaining your morals and keeping things halal because even if it doesn't work out, at least you didn't give yourself up in that way. So yes, it hurts a little bit, but at least you can sit back and say, Alhamdulillah, we didn't do anything haram, so I'm so glad that wasn't the case. So sisters, please, don't chase a man because sometimes that desire to chase will make you compromise your deen in order to keep him. The next negative result of chasing a guy is that you could lose out on relationships that are actually meant for you. So you're chasing this guy, he doesn't want you. Whoever is going to be yours is not going to be a man that you're going to have to chase. I have to make that very, very clear, sisters. If he is meant for you, you won't have to chase him. You will have to put in an equal or a good amount of effort to maintain so it doesn't mean that he has to be the one to always um, ask about you and you never bother to question or ask about him that just actually shows that you don't care that's not even playing hard to get that's just that's just being silly um but if he's meant for you you won't have to chase him because he will show equal interest and he will bring about equal effort to the table when he's not bringing about equal effort to the table and you're feeling like you have to do it all, it's a sign actually that this person's probably not meant for you. Because if you begin a relationship in a certain way, you're going to have to maintain it like that. If you start it off chasing, when you actually get married, if you actually end up marrying him, you're going to be the one to always go above and beyond just to keep the marriage going, just to keep the marriage healthy. And you can't be surprised at that. You've begun the relationship in that way. You've begun it in that way. So what could end up happening is that you just end up wasting your time pursuing this person who perhaps doesn't even want to be pursued by you and who doesn't want to be with you. And whilst you're wasting that time, effort, energy, money, or everything, pouring into this person who's not interested, you're actually losing time that you could be pouring into someone who is meant for you. 
And that is just sad because there are countless stories of women who have wasted years, years with men that they knew from the get-go weren't that interested. And then years later, when they have gone past their prime, when they have wasted so much time, they've gone past the, the, the age of, of being able to have children. And then one day they finally decided that they've had enough. And then they leave that relationship. They sit back and they look and they say, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I wasted so much time with this person that I should never have wasted that much time with. Because now you can't get back that time. And time is one of the most valuable things that you can have in this world is time. And so if someone is not interested in you, don't waste your time. Especially, I would say, for any sister in her 30s, don't even give any guy a chance to waste six months to a year thinking about if he wants to marry you, let alone more than that. If you're talking to a guy who's been six months, is going up to a year, is going up to a year and a half, and he's still thinking about it, we're still trying to figure things out, I'm sorry, no. No, 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 no. Because sis... You have a time, because sis, you have a clock that's moving faster than his clock is moving. Because at the end of the day, a woman can get to a certain age where she will hit menopause. But a man will continue to produce sperm until the day he dies. Now, they might not be as good a quality the older he gets, but he can produce sperm until the day he dies. You have a limited time in which you can produce eggs, release your eggs and make a baby. You have a limited time in which you can release your eggs. You're born with all the eggs you're ever going to have. Every single month you have a menstrual cycle, you're losing some. So to then waste your time waiting for him, it's, it's, it's not something we should be doing as women. It's something we should be very conscious of. Don't let a man waste your time. If he's not interested, keep it moving, sis. Finally, to make it very clear, you could very well end up with a man who is just not that into you, sis. He's not interested sometimes women just find it so hard to accept the fact that a guy doesn't want them and i know it's somehow we you we make it about ourselves even when it's not about ourselves sometimes when a guy says it's really not you it's me it's really him and not you sis it's really actually him because he doesn't find you to be someone that he wants and that doesn't mean that you don't have any value or that you're not worthy of him it actually just means that you're not the type of person he's looking for. And it's actually okay. But I know us women, what we do is we make it about ourselves. I must not be pretty enough. And now you're looking at the next woman that he's going to end up with, the woman he's going to select. And now you're looking at her and comparing her to yourself. And you're like, okay, that's the type of thing that he's interested in. Therefore, I'm not good enough. And that is why it's never a good idea for you to pursue a man. When he selects you, He's already made up his mind that you are what he wants. That's what makes it so great when a man selects a woman. Because when a man pursues you, he's already making it very clear that you are the type that he wants. And that is what makes it so beneficial for us women to have men pursue us because we don't have to second guess his interests. And so you could end up with very limited commitment in that relationship. And you could end up with, as I've said before, you having to work so hard just to keep that relationship going. And nine times out of 10, you can never maintain that. Nine times out of 10, he will end up leaving you eventually. It's just a matter of time. So please, sisters, these are some of the things to consider about why it could be a bad idea for you to chase a guy. Having said all of this, if a man is interested in you and shows interest, it's okay to show interest back. It's just about doing it in a dignified way and not overdoing it to when you're coming across um, aggressive, when you're coming across as a pursuer. Because when you do that, sisters, at the end of the day, you make him the goal. And when you make a man the goal, that is the beginning of the end <laughs> okay that is the beginning of the end okay that is when you're going to have all of your self-esteem go down because you now have to work so hard to keep him having said all of that may Allah bless all of you with righteous husbands who will be good for you good to you and the coolness of your eyes if you have enjoyed this video please make sure you share it with other single sisters out there so they are aware of 
being careful about not pursuing a man make sure you give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section down below let's have a conversation around this i'm interested in your opinions um and your experiences as well that other sisters could read and learn from so guys inshallah i will see you all in my next video oh by the way you can watch this video about signs that you have met the man who is for you if you haven't seen that video make sure you hop on over there and i will see you there inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh